Hello everybody, this is Tigatar and welcome back to another episode of Building a Desktop Background. So let's check on our lists here. Um, next up is going to be the Hallow. So where are we going to do this? I've been thinking about it. I think the surface is probably better. You can get the trees and the, the, um, the world background and stuff. So probably on the surface. So the question is where? I basically cleansed most of the world other than this desert which I use as an arena so I don't really want to put anything there there's a little bit of hallow here too but I don't know if the landscape is oriented very well to build on so what I uh, what I actually realized is over towards the east side of my world technically I built these um, big chunks of snow and sand and dirt for tree farms over here a while ago. And so I, I'm thinking I'll just use this, the hallowed tree farm to um, to put the, to build the background on, because it's already there. There's plenty of space on it, and we'll just build it up here in the sky. And uh, should be pretty good. I've gathered a handful of building materials here too. I, I'm not totally sure which blocks even to use yet. I have a few options. And, Thinking either pearl stone bricks, um, pearl wood, or um, crystal blocks. Maybe some combination of the sort, and probably just a relatively, relatively straight and horizontal letter layout. And then maybe over the top, we can make like an arching um, stone structure made out of pearl stone and put maybe some grass on top and some have vines growing on it and stuff so hopefully um hopefully we can fill it in nicely because i don't i i'd rather add a little bit of detail instead of just simply having a letter sitting on this thin strip of dirt and that'd be about it oh wyvern so anyway i'm gonna get to building here turn the time lapse mode on and we will see See what happens. Usually, my ideas tend to change quite a bit as I'm uh, as I'm building stuff. Let's see.
Well, here we are. Um, I'm waiting for the last couple of trees to grow up here. They're being kind of stubborn. And then I'm just going to fill this in with a couple more lamps and some plants and uh, um, flowers and uh, these potted plants and stuff. And then it'll be pretty much done, I think. This is how I ended up going with it. Actually, not too far off from what I kind of had pictured at first. So I... Got the letters done. Went with pretty big letters. I think this is this might be the biggest one so far. Um, and I uh, I decided to go with the crystal blocks, and then fill the inside of the letters with crystal shards, which um may, which pr make the glowing effect. So it lights it up, and it also looks kind of sparkly and adds a cool texture and colors to it. So I think it actually worked really well. I'm really uh, happy with how that turned out. Oh, I got a couple of torches in here that need to go. Um, but yeah, pretty much added some some lamps and um, lanterns in the little cave that we made here. And then uh, kind of textured it where I could. So like the background walls, I, I added some, some cavern wall textures going down to each letter from the ceiling and also connecting from below. And I mixed in a, just a handful of the different um, different hallowed wall types. I used the hallowed prism walls, hallowed crystalline walls, and hallowed cavern walls. And then uh, like one or two others just sprinkled in very lightly, I think. Um, added a nice texture and then the, the cave the stone part for the cave I used pearl stone and then added in pearl stone bricks just to add that little bit of texture and um did it all without paint so that's cool I'm still sticking with the no paint challenge which honestly isn't very hard because there's tons of blocks and different colors to choose from and match with each other so it's not hard at all but and yeah so I think I'm gonna let these let a couple more trees grow and then put the last couple of lamps um, and uh, flowers and these um, potted trees and stuff and then it'll be pretty much good to go um, I'll take a couple of screenshots and then share them at the end here I'm sure that the daytime and the nighttime one are gonna look quite different for this one at nighttime though the I think it really brings out the um, the letters really pop with the crystals glowing every much more brightly in the night um, but we'll see anyway I'll share the pictures and then that'll be the end of the video so thanks a ton for watching I hope you enjoyed it a little bit and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day